Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marshall Lennis. I'm the host of the All Strength Challenge, and we're in Calgary, Alberta today at the Western Canadian Strongman Championships. Now, there's a lot on the uh, on the table today. The top four guys from this competition get to compete at the Canadians in Quebec in July. The top guys today also get to buy to compete in the All Strength Challenge Championship in Toronto. August 26th, where he can walk away with $10,000 cash or right away on a 2000 Harley Davidson. Our first competitor today, height 6 foot 3, 300 pounds, 35 years old, right from here, Calgary, Alberta, Grant McReynolds. Come on out, G Man. Randy Davis, 6 foot 3. 310 pounds, 30 years old, also from Calgary, Alberta. Jeff Dolan, six foot two, 280 pounds, 26 years old, from the city of Lethbridge. Jeff Dolan. Bob Owens, six foot, 255 pounds, 38 years old, all the way up from Northern Vancouver. Troy Ellis. Six feet, 255 pounds, 24 years old, from Nanaimo, BC. Our next competitor, six foot four, 282 pounds, 36 years old, Scott Hickley. Good Scott, come on out, buddy. Will Stevens, six foot two, 270 pounds, 30 years old, from Edmonton, Alberta. Beard Beekman, height six feet, 275 pounds, 30 years old. Corey Gillespie, Corey is six foot one, 215 pounds, 23 years old, from the city of Lethbridge, Alberta. Steve Wiseman, six foot one, 275 pounds, 31 years old, from right here in Calgary, Alberta. Darren Moody, Six foot one, 280 pounds, 25 years old. Dean Plant. Dean is six feet, 300 pounds from Calgary, Alberta. The events that we got for today, four events. We have the Farmer's Walk. Then we'll have the Clean and Press for the 220 pound logs. The tire flip, 750 pound tires. And the last event for the day will be the Atlas stones. These perfectly round stones will be loaded onto the cakes. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to my beautiful co-host. We'll be interviewing the guys today and getting all the questions. Tammy Acker. Thanks, Marsha. I'm standing here with the 12 competitors for today's events in Calgary, who will all compete to win $1,000. And then one person will go on to compete in Toronto at the All Strength Challenge Championship. Guys, how are you feeling today? Good, good, good. Strong. Good, just good? Come on, let me hear some <laughs> strength. strength. <laughs> Let's get into the first event, the Farmer's Walk. So ladies and gentlemen, the first event is called the Farmer's Walk. Each one of these cylinders is 220 pounds. The athletes must pick them up in each hand and try and complete the length of this course for the best time possible. Let's hear it for these guys, Calgary. Hi, Randy. How you doing? Good. 
was good. Wasn't too bad. Okay, tough event for you or? Not too bad of an event. Just make sure you have a good grip. Warmed up. Warmed up. Ready for the rest of the day. Go! First event, the Farmer's Walk. Great event. 220 pounds in each hand. In first place, Jeff Dolan, 30.15 seconds. Right on his tail, Graham McReynolds, 34.25 seconds. And right behind him, Randy Davis, 37.60. Very tough event, but hey, these guys were troopers. Some of these guys were first timers, don't forget. Keep an eye on them today. Now let's go have a look at Jeff Dolan's winning walk. Oh, I gotta rephrase that, look at this guy. He's going for a jog with these things. Got a good steady pace all the way through. That's what it takes to win the farmer's walk. Big round of applause for Jeff. Now let's go over to Tammy, where she's interviewing Jeff. Let's see how he feels about that walk. Jeff, you just finished the farmer's walk. You did very well. You made it with 29 seconds. Yeah. Went pretty good. I'd have a lot of explaining to do if I didn't do good in this one, since I'm a farmer. All my friends back home would be giving me a hard time. We'll be right back with the log lift right after this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next event, the overhead press. This is a true overhead press. The logs behind me have to go from the ground to complete lockout overhead as many times as they can in 90 seconds. 220 pounds, 100 kilos for as many reps as they can. Calgary, you ready to see the log lift? Here we go. Three for there.
pretty disappointed. I uh, lost the log on one and it rolled off the platform and I missed the seventh rep and a lot of costly points. There we go. Guy in first place, number one, 13 repetitions, 220 pounds, Graham McReynolds. Second, Randy Davis with 10 reps. And with seven reps, Barrett Bigman in third place. Let's hear it for all these guys. Like I said, that's totally different than doing it in the gym. 220 pounds, not a great deal of weight, but in a hammer grip, and 14 inches away from the body makes it tough. But I tell you what, if a guy trains with it, this is what happens. Smooth, obviously awesome technique. I know that Grant has got some Olympic lifting background, but he's also trained with these logs for a lot of years. He looks as strong in number 13 as he did in number one. Now let's go over and see Tammy. Tammy's going to interview him. Let's find out how Grant felt about the log press. Tammy? How you doing? I'm feeling good, Tammy. Uh, Jeff Dolan was looking really powerful in the first event. I was hoping to do a little better in this one, and uh, it worked out okay for me. I'm happy. The next event, ladies and gentlemen, is the tire flip. These tires are 750 pounds. The athlete has 90 seconds to flip this tire as quick as he can. Let's go check out the tire. tire flip me didn't quite make it how does that feel that, that's cardio that one no doubt about it oh, about halfway sucking big wind but I just kept going Seven hundred fifty pounds. Have you ever practiced a tire flip before? Only when I changed them on my big trucks. <laughs> and they weren't as big as this one, though. There we go. Pound tire flip, what'd you think, Calgary? Huh? Great event, great effort by all these athletes. Hey, you know what? With a lot of these events, what happens is the athlete that goes last gets the opportunity to know the time he's got to beat. 
Graham McReynolds was that man. He knew the time he had to beat, and he did it with an incredible 49.45 seconds. In second place, Jeff Dolan, 57.44. And in third, Randy Davis, 85.54 seconds. Let's have a look at that instant replay on Graham McReynolds. An incredible flip. There he goes. You can tell he's determined from the get-go. Just a good, constant, steady pace. Flip, 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 flip. And the finish line. Look at that face. He knew he won it, didn't he? Huh? That was it. Our overall, after three events, in first place with 35 points, Grant McReynolds. We have a tie for second place right now. Jeff Dolan and Randy Davis with 31 points. And then third is only four points behind. Don't go away, folks. Coming right back with the Atlas Stones. at the last event for the first day, the Atlas Stones, or the McGlossom Stones. These are perfectly spherical stones. I'm here to tell you from experience, you don't train with these, you won't get them up. We have a stone, 230 pounds, 265 pounds, 290 pounds, 330 pounds, and Big Bertha on the end, she's 385. The object is, Start with the light stone, put it up on the barrel, continue on for the quickest time as you can. Next up, the Atlas Stones.
managed to lift two. How do you feel? Burnt. Little forearms are gone on me. I felt like the skin was gonna come right off. Right in there. the 385 because I was told that nobody else from Canada has done it. That's what I was told, so I wanted to try to be the first. It's the last event on this day one, so I can be happy with you. But Randy, he's I've always called him King of the Stones. Maybe I pinched his crown for a little bit today. Canadian Strongman Championships. Are you ready to see some more Strongman here today, Calgary? Yeah. Sure for these guys. Now, we had a great day yesterday, four events, and our standings as follow are Graham McReynolds in the lead with 46 points. Yeah. Jeff Golan with 43 points. And Randy Davis in third with 41 points. Now, we've got three great events here today. We're going to start out with the Super Yoke. 720 pounds. They gotta walk as fast as they can. Then we have the deadlift for repetitions. And the last event, a very exciting event, the medley, where these guys will be moving a great deal of heavy objects over a long distance. Let's go check with Tammy and see how the athletes feel about today's event. Tammy? Thank you, Marshall. I'm sitting here with all of our big, strong competitors from yesterday's event for part two. And I'm with the leader of today's event, Grant. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. 
Okay, we have three more events to do today, starting with the Super Yoke. How do you feel about that? I think in this uh, great sport of strongman, uh, anything can happen and usually does, so uh, let's see what happens. First event is the Super Yoke. This apparatus here weighs 720 pounds. Uh, it looks very, very thin, right? But it's all there. Basically, this is two of me. I'm 360, so these guys are going to carry two of me 30 meters. All right? 98 feet with 720 pounds on your shoulders. Let's get right into the Super Yoga. Come on, come on. Come on, Darren Moody from Calgary, Alberta. Nice and easy, Coy. Get it up there. Come on, Coy. Let's straight back. Straight out. Grant, we just saw the super yoke fall on Jeff. What happened? Uh, Jeff Dolan, being the great athlete and super competitive individual that he is, uh, he was trying to make the finish line. He picked up a whole bunch of speed. The super yoke weighs 720 pounds. It's definitely a dangerous event. Uh, he picked up a little bit too much speed right at the finish line and tried to make it over the line. And uh, the whole weight came forward and landed on his uh, forearm. It looks at this moment, we're hoping that he doesn't have a broken arm. I think he's okay. I sure hope he's okay. We're just getting him looked at by some medics right now. So uh, let's hope he's okay and he can proceed to the next event. The only man to complete the course and the winner, a third leader, Grandma Jones with a time of 41.65, 30 meters. Next, with an incredible effort, you've seen it right to the end. He's, uh, he's okay. Jeff Dolan second, 29.65 meters. And our third place, which was a long way back, but a great effort, Beard Beachman, 8.5 meters. Big round of applause. Now let's have a look at Grant's winning walk. A good solid pickup, and he's motoring the way he goes. You can tell this guy's got experience. He's done it before. Motors all the way through. That's how you win the 720 pound Super Yoke. Big round of applause for Grant. Now let's go back to my lovely co-host, Danny. Danny, what does Grant think about that effort? 
Grant, that was unbelievable. You're the only one that even practically moved the super yoke. How do you feel? Fighting power. <laughs> that one went good. Happy with it. Uh, hams were a little bit tight right off the start, but loosened up nice near the end. Managed to open it up a little bit. So ladies and gentlemen, next again, good game. We have a standard Olympic bar here for the Olympic weights. This weighs 526 pounds. And we're going to do it once. They have 90 seconds to lift this as many times as they can. 90 seconds as quick as they can from the ground. Full lockout. The lift is not good until the referee says so. Let's get right into the deadlift for the first attempt. held up better than I expected like even health hearts and healthy I might have been able to do more that's it
just open her up there a little more. No, this is great. That's it for me, though. A done deal. seven events that was a true test of strength in first place in the medley with an incredible time of 52 seconds even grant mcreynolds huh? then jeff dolan with a time of one minute 16.06 good effort jeff and in third beard beatman 130.22 let's hear it for all these guys that final event was really, really tough. Great event. I had to move 2,000 pounds. One guy did it in less than a minute. Let's have a look at that. Look at his determination in this guy's face. He knew from the get-go he came into the event number one. He definitely wanted to remain number one. Everything. Absolutely perfect medley. That's the way you win the medley. 52 seconds, Grand McReynolds. How do you think, Calgary? Great event. Yeah? Well, let's see what Grant thought about it. Tammy, how does Grant feel about his efforts in the medley? Grant, very impressed with his the medley, but 62 seconds. I was hoping for a little bit of explosiveness on that one. It came to and it feels good. <laughs> And a great event, our latest stop in the All Strength Challenge. Gives me great pleasure to uh, bring in from KT Manufacturing, Christine Smith. Christine? Oh, in first place, who do we have? Our favorite, Grant McRandall, for an incredible job, 82 points, and we're proud of him, and it looks good on him. G Man, come on in. I'm very, very proud to bring in my lovely co-host who will present you with the thousand dollar check for the All-Star Championship, my friend. Here he is, Tammy. Uh -huh. Here you go, Tammy. Thank you, Grant. What a fabulous job you did. Thank you very much. My friend, you win there, you either walk away with 10 grand in your pocket, or you get the right away on a 2,000 Harley Davidson. You're absolutely right. So, Tammy, where can the uh, folks join us next week live? You can join us next week in right here, Alberta, for a Highland game. That's right. And if they can't wait till this weekend, where can they check us out? Also, don't forget to check us out at www.allstrength.com. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, until the next contest, Thank you very much. Stay strong.
Welcome to the All Strength Challenge. My name is Marshall Ennis. Here we are in beautiful Lac Saint Jean, northern Quebec, for the next stop in the All Strength Challenge. Now, uh, something a little different to this show because of my uh, poor high school French. I won't be announcing to the crowd. We have a French announcer, but I will be here giving you the results and the updates and the descriptions of the events as we have in the past. The events that we have here tonight on our first night is the tire flip the tractor pull and the platform lift. The tire is 840 pounds. Exact same weight they use at the world's. The tractor pull is 13,000 pounds. And the platform lift, I expect to see up around 800 pounds. So we're in for a really good event with these 11 incredible athletes. Now, somebody that you might expect to see in Quebec that isn't here tonight is Hugo Girard. Hugo won the Canadians last year, and he also placed fourth in the world's. The best the Canadians has placed in the last 20 years at the world's. Hugo gets a bye for the Canadians, so he's going to have to find somewhere else to stop at the All-Strength Challenge if he wants to go for that $10,000 for the Harley Davidsons. There's no buys here at the All-Strength. You've got to come out and play at the All-Strength Challenge. But let's go inside, see the rest of these guys, give you international caliber events, international caliber efforts. The next stop on the All-Strength Challenge, Black Sable. pound tractor. The guys will be hooked up in a harness and have a rope to assist where they pull hand over hand this uh, tractor, 13,000 pound tractor, over a course as quick as they can.
how's yours? Tammy, nice to meet you. <laughs> what do you think about that last event? Well, I look like I feel. I'm beating this tough one. It's hard to gauge. After the last event, the tractor pulled 13,000 pounds. Great effort. Dominique Foulot with a time of 44.12. I don't think that tractor needs a motor with a guy like that around. Jessin Paulin with a time of 72 seconds. And then Yves Frizez with a time of 82.3 seconds. You know what? It takes a good strong start and a good steady pull. That rope can work against you if you don't know what you're doing. From experience, I know, if you're not feeding that rope right, it just gets in your way. Dominique, he's obviously done it before. Let's have a look at his replay. Hand over hand over hand, feet are going just like a centipede. That's what it takes to win the tractor pull, and Dominique does it with a time of 44.12 seconds. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next event is the tire flip. Now, this is an 840-pound tire. This is the same tire they use at the Worlds. You know what? These Frenchmen are in for a hard time this weekend. Whoever gets to go to the All-Strength Challenge Championship, he's going to have to work for it real hard. You have to pick up this tire and flip it end over end as quick as you can over a 100-foot course. Big event.
840 pounds. The winner, Dominique Foulot, with a time of 66.10. Right behind him, Marco Fortier, with a time of 68.9. And then Frankie Bonvo with 70.75. Great event. Like I said, very, very tough. You know, you see those guys getting down and getting dirty into that. That's a heavy tire. A lot of guys struggle with it. Some guys didn't finish the course, but a great effort by all of these 11 Frenchmen. But you know what? It's Dominique that had the winning flip. Let's have a look why. There he goes, straight into it, down. He's splitting it every time, not taking a break, breathing properly, and there's the winning flip. back with the platform lift right after this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next event is the platform lift. This is a tough, tough lift. I expect to see 